Hi there, and welcome to another PenCast for the course Reasoning and Logic. In this one, we take a look at an old exam question, which asks us to explain what the principle of explosion is and what it might mean for this argument. So, let's talk about the principle of explosion for a bit. In order to do that, we need to take a look at the definition of what it means for an argument to be valid, the validity of an argument. An argument is valid if, in all situations where all of the premises are true, the conclusion is also true. Now that means that for an argument to be invalid, we need to take a look at the negation of this. In other words, there needs to be a situation in which all of the premises are true, but the conclusion is false. We call such a situation a counterexample. And we say that when no counterexample exists, an argument must be valid. Now imagine that we have the argument P and not P, therefore Q. In this argument, there is no situation in which all of the premises are true. Why not? Because P and not P is a contradiction. It is impossible for this premise to be true. And as there is no counterexample, we say this argument must be valid. And this is what the principle of explosion is all about. If there is a contradiction amongst the premises, the argument is valid. This is what the principle of explosion states. In the question, we see not P implies P. Well, using some rewriting, or perhaps you just know these rules by heart by now, we can find out that this is in fact a contradiction. And as a result, it is impossible to create a counterexample, and thus the argument is valid. That's it for this time. See you around for the next one.